Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this clownfish design, finally. I know some of you guys have been waiting a while for this tutorial and I'm so sorry it took me so long to make it. But here is my clownfish design, so I already bumped my camera, not good. Um, here's my clownfish, oop, and now we're blurry. We're doing great today. Um, here's my clownfish design. I made this design over a year ago and I, it's barely getting a tutorial, I'm so sorry. But here's my clownfish. So this is technically um, a smaller clownfish design. If you saw the post when I posted these, there was two clownfish. So the bigger guy that has the black stripes as well will be getting a tutorial probably a couple days after this one comes out, either the next day or a few days later. So yeah, if you want to make this guy, he'll be out in a few days. But today we're going to be doing this one, which is the smaller clownfish design. He's just a little smaller and he doesn't have the black stripes, so he's just slightly different. And yeah super fun. Um, so I did do a bank count on this guy. So the bank count for this guy is 110, not 110. The bank count in total is 173 um, with 110 of whatever color you want your fish to be and then 36 white and then about 27 black. So it's actually not that bad because it kind of breaks down between colors and I think it's super cute so it's worth it. Um, yeah, uh, as for how hard this design is, I don't think it's super hard. Um, we don't do a lot of crazy stuff, it's just there's a lot of attaching at the end. So basically we make the whole fish shape and then we attach like all these fins. So there is a little bit of attaching but yeah, you should. I think if you made a couple of my designs you should be okay. And I think that is it, so I guess I'll get started. Um, so of course you're going to want whatever colors you want to make your fish. I'm going to be using pretty sim similar colors today. So I'll do black where the black is, white where the white is. Um, the only difference is I'm going to be making an orange fish today, finally. I think clownfish come in all different colors, so you can do whatever color you like. I think a blue one would be cute. I haven't made a blue one yet. Um, but I'll be doing orange today. Um, of course you're going to need a hook. I'm using my double-ended hook just because I like this hook. Um, but you can use any hook. You can use a normal rain balloon hook. And then you're going to want something to mark your rows. I always use it. I just threw my C-clip on accident. Luckily we have extra. Um, you're going to want a C-clip or something to mark your rows. I usually use a C-clip. So I think that is it. So we will get started. Um, as always, the patterns in the description as well as the band count and like everything else. So if you don't want to watch the tutorial, the pattern's already in the description. So we're going to start by making the main fish body. Oh, also, I think I forgot. Um, you're going to need some beads if you want to do eyes for like... If you want to do eyes with beads, but if you don't have beads, you can just take a black band, wrap it four times around your hook, and then pull a band through, and it'll work the same way. Or you can use safety eyes. I know some people have, like, some really small safety eyes. I don't. But, yeah. Now we'll get started. So, like I said, we're going to start by making just the fish body, so the main part of the fish. And to start, we're going to start by wrapping a band three times around our hook. So this is one. And then I'm making sure everything is focused. <laughs> And then two, and then three, and then we're going to pull a band through everything on our hook, put both ends back on our hook, and then push the back one over the front one, and then you're going to go back through the cap band, pull a band through just the cap band, push the back one over the front one, and then push the loop from last time over as well. So we're going to be wanting to put four stitches in the cap band. Uh, I've done two, so I need to do two more. So I'll show you what I just did again. But yeah, so we're just doing a triple cap band with four stitches in it. So you go back through the cap band. Once again, you pull a band through just the cap band. Like that. So you pull a band through the cap band. Put both ends on your hook, you push the back one over the front one, and then you push the loop from last time over. Like that. And now we're going to want to make sure we have four stitches. So to do that, we're going to start by counting the one on our hook. So you count one, two, three, four. And then this, oh, don't pull your hook out. And then this might look like a stitch, but you can kind of tell it's the band we flipped over and not the stitch. So once you've made sure you have four loops, instead of going back into the cap band, we're going to go into the first loop. And we're just going to make a stitch, so we'll pull a band, 
through just the loop. Put both ends back on your hook, push the back one over the front one, and then push the loop from last time over as well. And we'll be putting a C-clip on this band. Like that. So now what we're going to be doing for this next row is we are going to be increasing everything. And if you don't know what an increase is, basically all we're doing is we're putting two in we're putting two stitches in each loop until we get back to the C-clip. So this first stitch we, we did has already has one stitch in it, so we're going to want cuz we're increasing, we're going to want to go back in and do another stitch. So you'll just go back into the same loop and you'll just make another stitch. And that'll be an increase. So I'll show you again on the next loop. So you're going to want to go to the next loop. You'll make one stitch. And then you'll go back in. You do another stitch. And that's an increase. And we're just going to keep doing this. So you just put two stitches per loop. And if you're confused, I do have a Luma Groovy Basics video where I go a lot slower, but I assume most of you have made a few of my things. So we're just increasing everything. And then once you get back to the band that has the C-clip on it, you're going to go through that loop, you're going to make a stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it. And then you'll get the C-clip and you'll move it up onto the loop that's on your hook now. Like that. So now if we count around you should have eight loops. So we'll start by counting the one on our hook again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're going to be increasing every other stitch. So we're going to do a single stitch and then we're going to do an increase. And we'll do this again until we get to the C-clip. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. I'm just picking up some more orange bands. So we this first one will be our single stitch, so the next one's going to be an increase. There's a fuzzy. But we'll do an increase. So you just put two stitches in this loop. And then because we're increasing every other, the next stitch will be a single stitch. So you just do one single stitch. And then the next one is an increase, so we'll do two stitches in this loop. And we just keep alternating doing that. So we do a single stitch. And then we do an increase. Then we do a single stitch. Then we do an increase. And then we should be back at the C clip. So once you get to the band that has a C clip on it, once again we'll just move it up. So we'll make a stitch on the band that has a C clip on it. And then we'll just move that C clip up onto this loop. Like that. So now if we count around, you should be at 12 stitches. So one, two, three. Always don't start by counting the one on your hook, by the way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like that. So now after this row is where it's going to start getting a little bit repetitive because we are going to be doing five rows of just single stitches or five rows normal, as I say. Um, so we're just doing one stitch in every loop until we get back to the C-clip for five rows. And at the end of each row, you should still have 12 loops. Um, the only thing that's different for this row is we are going to be alternating between white and then orange. So the first row we, row we do is going to be white and then we'll switch to um, orange or whatever color your fish is. And then back to white, and orange, then white. And we basically just do that for five rows. So the row we're about to do right now is going to be in white. So I'm picking up some white. And the only other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be slip stitching when we flip colors and I'll show you how to do that and we actually forgot to do that so we're going to undo the stitch that has a sequel on it. So we're just going to undo that stitch. And then we're going to redo the stitch but in white. 
And the only difference when we redo this stitch is we're going to slip stitch. So what a slip stitch is, is instead of pulling it through just the loop, you're going to pull a band through everything on your hook and then put the back one over the front one. And then we'll put the C-clip back on this band just because it was on the band before. That. So we're only going to slip stitch when we flip colors and it'll be at the end of each row, usually on the one that has the C-clip on it. I just forgot to do it the last time. But we're going to do one row around normal, so we're just going to be doing single stitches all the way around in white. So we just do one stitch in every single loop all the way around. Ugh. Can't grab one. Okay, and then once you get to the band that has a C-clip on it, we're going to flip back to orange as well as move the C-clip up. So, because we're flipping back to orange now, we're going to pull it through everything on our hook and then push the back one over the front one. And then we'll put the C-clip on this band. Like that. And we only do that when we flip colors. So now if you count around, you should still have 12 loops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we're going to do the same thing we just did, but in orange. And we just keep doing this until we have five rows. Um, I'll probably stay on to do one more row, and then I'll go off to do the rest. But we're just flipping between orange and white until we do five rows. So... Once so again, we just do single stitches all the way around, this time in orange. And this is the second row. We just do single stitches. All the way around. I was trying to think if there's anything for me to talk about whenever I, we do repetitive things, but I actually don't have anything really to talk about today. And then once again, once we get to the C-clip, we'll be flipping back to white. So we'll slip stitch on this one because we flipped to white. Then you move your C-clip up, like that. Once again, if you count around, you should still have 12, so we'll count around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like that. So we're just going to keep doing this. I did two rows with you on camera right now, but we're just going to keep alternating between white and then orange for five rows. Um, I did two with you on camera, so you only have to do three more off camera. So this next one, and then we'll, you'll, yeah, I'm being confusing, kind of. But basically, we just did two rows, so you're going to want to do three more rows, just like the ones we just did, just alternating between white and orange. So I'm going to go off camera, do the three rows, and then I'll come back and tell you what we do next. Okay, so I just finished the three rows, so now my fish looks something like this. So we did five rows in total, um, but if you stayed and did the two rows with me, you only had to do three more. So your fish should be looking something like this. Um, you should have a white row, an orange row, a white row, an orange row, and then we end on a white row. And then your C-clip should be on an orange band because we flip colors on the band that has a C-clip on it. So yeah, and you should still have 12 loops if you count around. So yeah. So now we're going to move on to the next step, and we're going to start closing this fish up. So we're going to start decreasing this row. So we're going to be decreasing every third, and that basically means we're going to be doing two single stitches and then a decrease. So, yeah. So, this will be one, then the next single stitch will be two, and then the next one's the third one, so we'll be doing a decrease. So we just did two single stitches, and now we're decreasing. So you're going to grab the front part of, oh, my hook's getting stuck in my notebook. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front part of one loop, 
And then you're going to grab the back part of the next loop, and then you'll just make a stitch on this. And that's a decrease. So now we're going to do two more single stitches, so one, two, and then we'll be decreasing again. So you grab the front part of one loop, the back part of the next loop, just make a stitch. And then we do two single stitches, so one, two, and then we'll do a decrease, so from part of one loop, back part of the next loop, and then on the one with the C-clip on it, we'll just make a stitch, because now, from now until the rest of the design, we're in orange, so we don't use white anymore, that was the end of the white. So we don't slip stitch or anything, we just keep going with orange, so we'll just make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it, and move it up onto this one. So now if you count around, you should have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and if you have any safety eyes or anything, you might want to put them on right now or probably would have wanted to put them on earlier. But, you know, I always forget these things. So I'm going to stuff him a little bit right now just because I don't want to stuff him when it's too tight. So you're going to want to get whatever you're using for your stuffing. I had some poly... Oh, I have cotton balls on my desk too. Hmm, should I use cotton balls or polyfill? does not matter that much, but <laughs> still thinking about it. I'll just use the polyfill. Stuffing him. Okay. I might need to add a little more stuffing later, but it's okay for now. Okay. So once you've stuffed him a little bit, we're going to be decreasing every other this row. So we're going to do a single stitch and then we're going to do a decrease. So this first one with a C-clip on it counts as our single stitch, so the next one will be a decrease. So you're going to have the front part of one loop, the back part of the next loop, and you make a stitch. Then we'll do a single stitch, so just a single normal stitch. Then we'll do a decrease, so front part of one loop, back part of the next loop. And then we'll do a single stitch. Then a decrease. And then on the one with the, the band that has a C-clip on it, we're just going to do a single stitch and we're going to move the C-clip up. Like that. So now if you can around, you should have six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're going to decrease everything until it's closed. So every single stitch we do is going to be a decrease. And yeah. And I already took out the C-clip because we don't need it anymore because we're just decreasing until we can't anymore. So every single stitch we do is going to be a decrease. So I just did one decrease. Do another decrease. And for this one, because we want his butt to be kind of pointy, you want to decrease until you really can't decrease anymore. Okay, so this next one's going to be my last one. And then once you have the last decrease up on your hook, you're just going to take a band, pull it through everything on your hook, push the back one over the front one, and pull tight. And then you'll just hide the tail in. Hmm, the lighting's being kind of weird. And then just pull it in. Hmm, it's being a little weird on the end. There we go. Yay. And then that's it. We have our main fish body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach all the fins. And he has a lot of fins because clownfish have a lot of fins. I don't know why. But... Usually I'll start with the tail, so that's when we'll start. So we're going to start on the end we decreased, not on this bit with the cat band. We're going to start on the end where we decreased. And to do the tail, I don't remember what we do. Okay, I do. So, let me make sure we're all focused. Okay. You know, I've really been thinking about buying a new camera lately. Um, 
unrelated, well, kind of related because we're filming a tutorial, but I've been looking at my tutorials and I feel like I really just need a new camera already, but, you know, cameras cost money and I don't know. I don't really have the money. Well, yeah, maybe. I'm hoping, I'm also thinking of asking one for my birthday because I, I kind of just really need a camera. Okay, anyways, the tail. So, for the tail, so one of my friends is texting me and I need to text her back. But for the tail, we're just going to go in. And you're not going to want to go dead center. You're going to want to go slightly off to either the bottom or the top. But you're going to want to pick a side. Oh, shoot, wait. Okay, I, I need to read her text. But, like, not now. I'm filming. I get distracted so easily. It's not good. Anyways, so we're going to want to go on the very end. But you're going to want to go towards one side. And then... Oh my god, okay, so we're gonna wanna go towards one side, and you're just gonna wanna pick a spot, and then you're gonna chain up one, and then we'll be putting four stitches in these chains. So, you're gonna chain up one, and then you'll put four stitches in this chain, so this is one, you go back to the chain, two, Three. And then four. And then you're going to want to go, see how this is kind of towards this side? Towards the other side. You're going to chain up one. And we'll be putting four stitches in this one. So you just kind of continue. Two. Three. And then four. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to pick a spot and we're just going to tie it in. And we're not going to want to tie this super tight because we're going to have to undo this. But we'll tie into the fish. So you'll just go through part of the fish. I didn't explain what I did there. I do this all the time. <laughs> but you're going to want to go into your fish right by where the tail ends. And you'll pull the band through everything on your hook, push the back one over the front one, and pull sort of tight but not super tight. And you'll leave the tail out. Because now what we're going to do is... Checking to make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, we're going to get our black, and we're going to basically just outline the edge of the tail. But, see, that's the kind of weird part about this design, is we want to go with the way the loops are going, if that makes sense. Um, I'll show you in a second. I'm just picking up some black bands. But, basically, we could have turned at the end and just gone back with black, but I don't like how that looks for this design. So we're going to tie it off, and then you see how all the loops are going this way? We're going to follow the loops that way. So we're going to go right here, and you're just going to go into the first loop, and you'll just start with black, making stitches in all these loops across the back here. So pretty simple. You just go into each loop with black across the top. And we're going to go all the way until the last stitch. And then what we're going to do is you're going to want to undo the stitch we used to tie the other one down. And you're going to want to undo it. And you're just going to add the black loop into that stitch. Ah, don't lose it. Oh shoot, mine's coming out. <laughs> but you would just want to add the black loop into that um, slip knotted stitch. And then re slip knot it, and now we can hide the tail. I think I did that right.
Double checking. Shoot, I kind of didn't. Um. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, so I just finished the three rows. So now my fish looks something like this. So we did five rows in total. Um, but if you stayed and did the two rows with me, you only had to do three more. So your fish should be looking something like this. Um, you should have a white row, an orange row, a white row, an orange row, and then we end on a white row. And then your C-clip should be on an orange band because we flip colors on the band that has a C-clip on it. So yeah, and you should still have 12 loops if you count around. So yeah. So now we're going to move on to the next step and we're going to start closing this fish up. So we're going to start decreasing this row. So we're going to be decreasing every third and that basically means we're going to be doing two single stitches and then a decrease. So yeah. So this will be one. And then the next single stitch will be two. And then the next one's the third one so we'll be doing a decrease. So we just did two single stitches and now we're decreasing. So you're going to grab the front part of, oh, my hook's getting stuck in my notebook, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front part of one loop, and then you're going to grab the back part of the next loop, and then you'll just make a stitch on this. And that's a decrease. So now we're going to do two more single stitches, so one, two, and then we'll be decreasing again, so you grab the front part of one loop, the back part of the next loop, just make a stitch, and then we do two single stitches, so one, two, and then we'll do a decrease, so from part of one loop, back part of the next loop, and then on the one with the C-clip on it, we'll just make a stitch, because now, from now until the rest of the design, we're in orange, so we don't use white anymore, that was the end of the white, so we don't slip stitch or anything, we just keep going with orange, so... We'll just make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it and move it up onto this one. So now if you count around, you should have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and if you have any safety eyes or anything, you might want to put them on right now or probably would have wanted to put them on earlier. But, you know, I always forget these things. So I'm going to stuff him a little bit right now just because I don't want to stuff him when it's too tight. So, you're going to want to get whatever you're using for your stuffing. I had some poly... Oh, I have cotton balls on my desk, too. Hmm, should I use cotton balls or polyfill? It does not matter that much, but... <laughs> still thinking about it. I'll just use the polyfill. Stuffing him. Okay. I might need to add a little more stuffing later, but it's okay for now. Okay. So once you've stuffed him a little bit, we're going to be decreasing every other this row. So we're going to do a single stitch, and then we're going to do a decrease. So this first one with a C-clip on it counts as our single stitch, so the next one will be a decrease. So you're going to have the front part of one loop, the back part of the next loop, and you make a stitch. Then we'll do a single stitch, so just a single normal stitch. Then we'll do a decrease, so front part of one loop, back part of the next loop. And then we'll do a single stitch. And then a decrease. And then on the one with the, the band that has a C-clip on it, we're just going to do a single stitch and we're going to move the C-clip up. Like that. So now if you count around, you should have six loops, so one, two, three, four. Five, six. So now we're going to decrease everything until it's closed. So every single stitch we do is going to be a decrease. And yeah. And I already took out the C-clip because we don't need it anymore because we're just decreasing until we can't anymore. So every single stitch we do is going to be a decrease. So I just did one decrease. Do another decrease. And for this one, because we want his butt to be kind of pointy, you want to decrease until you really can't decrease anymore. Okay, so this next one's going to be my last one. And then once you have the last decrease up on your hook, you're just going to take a band, pull it through everything on your hook. 
push the back one over the front one and pull tight. And then you'll just hide the tail in. Hmm, the lighting's being kind of weird. And just pull it in. Hmm. It's being a little weird on the end. There we go. Yay. And then that's it. We have our main fish body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach all the fins. And he has a lot of fins because clownfish have a lot of fins. I don't know why, but usually I'll start with the tail, so that's when we'll start. So we're going to start on the end we decreased, not on this bit with the cat band. We're going to start on the end where we decreased. And to do the tail, I don't remember what we do. Okay, I do. So, let me make sure we're all focused. Okay. You know, I've really been thinking about buying a new camera lately. Um, Unrelated, well, kind of related because we're filming a tutorial, but I've been looking at my tutorials and I feel like I really just need a new camera already. But you know, cameras cost money, and I don't know, I don't really have the money. Well, yeah, maybe I'm hoping I'm also thinking of asking one for my birthday because I, I kind of just really need a camera. Okay, anyways, the tail so. For the tail, so one of my friends is texting me and I need to text her back. But for the tail, we're just going to go in. And you're not going to want to go dead center. You're going to want to go slightly off to either the bottom or the top. But you're going to want to pick a side. Oh shoot, wait. Okay, I, I need to read her text. But like, not now. I'm filming. I get distracted so easily. It's not good. Anyways, so we're going to want to go on the very end. But you're going to want to go towards one side. And then, oh my god, okay, so we're going to want to go towards one side, and you're just going to want to pick a spot, and then you're going to chain up one, and then we'll be putting four stitches in these chains, so you're going to chain up one, and then you'll put four stitches in this chain, so this is one, go back to the chain, two, Three. And then four. And then you're going to want to go, see how this is kind of towards this side? Towards the other side. You're going to chain up one. And we'll be putting four stitches in this one. So you just kind of continue. Two. Three. And then four. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to pick a spot and we're just going to tie it in. And we're not going to want to tie this super tight because we're going to have to undo this. But we'll tie into the fish. So you'll just go through part of the fish. I didn't explain what I did there. I do this all the time. <laughs> but you're going to want to go into your fish right by where the tail ends. And you'll pull a band through everything on your hook. Push the back one over the front one and pull sort of tight but not super tight. And you'll leave the tail out. Because now what we're going to do is... Checking to make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so after we finish doing this part of the tail, we're going to start adding black on top. And so a couple things. Um, if you're picky like me, you're going to want to make sure all your stitches are facing the same way. If you don't care, ignore this, but... Yeah, so we're going to start on the side where you can tell the loops are going kind of like this. And we tied on this end. We're going to start over here. And we're going to start by going into the chain. And we're just going to make a stitch with black. And then we're just going to go into all the loops. On the top. And all the way until we get to the other side. Just with black.
oh my god, I forgot to explain what I was doing. I'm, I keep spacing out right now. Um, and then I just, like, start looming. Um, okay. So, what I just did was I undid the, the band that we used to tie, um, the other side in. So, I undid the band that we have to, that we used to tie the orange in. And then I'm just gonna slide the black onto that slip knot and then re-slip knot it and this time we're gonna pull it tight. And also, I just went all across the loops on top with black and then once we got to the other side I just tied it in. So, sorry for not explaining, I totally spaced out, but pretty simple so I'm not gonna redo it. And then we'll just tuck the tail in. So I like doing that first, because usually after I do that, I kind of decide what I want to be my top and which part's my bottom. So I'll usually just look at my fish, and I usually just like one side better. I mean, technically both sides are the same, but I usually like how one side looks better, so I feel like that's the top of my fish. Yeah, that's the top of my fish. And it doesn't really matter which, like, if you like your fish better this way, it's just preference. Hmm, or is my fish better this way? The debate. It doesn't really matter. I just, I'm picky. Okay, I think we'll do it this way. So, once we do that, I usually like to add the top fins and then, like, these fins. So all of these fins are made the same. So this fin, this fin, and this one down here are all made the same. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to start with orange, and you're going to want to decide whatever the top of your fish is. And like I said, if you want to make sure all your stitches are facing the same way, I usually consider this the back part of the stitch, so not the part with like this bit. Um, you're going to want to go in with your hook this way if you want these to be facing that way. If you don't care, like I said, ignore this bit, but I'm just very picky about this. But we're going to want to go in towards whatever we consider the top of our fish and towards the front in the middle. And we're going to make a stitch. And we're going to stitch backwards, technically, three. So it's one, two, and then let's pick a spot, three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie this in. So, And you're going to want to tie it fairly close to the last stitch we made. You're just going to tie it in. And now we're going to switch to black. And we're going to start at the front here again, and we're going to go into this weird thing that is technically not the first loop, but we're going to go into it anyways. And we're going to make a stitch, and then we're going to make a stitch on the two other loops, so one. And then two. And then what we're going to do is you're going to undo that first, the slip knot we did to tie off the orange. And then you're just going to slide the black band into that, and then re-slip knot it. Like that. And then you can just hide the tail. So we're going to want to do that two more times for the other two spots I told you we had fins. I'll show you again in case you're confused, but I feel like it's pretty not too bad. There's one fin. And like I said, so we're going to want to do that exact same thing once more time right here, and then once down here. So we'll start again in the back, and the thing with the back one is, is we're going to start in the back and then we'll stitch forward. I'm just very picky with the direction of things in this design. Like, honestly, if you go forwards to backwards, is it going to make the biggest deal? No. But does it matter to me? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to start back here, and we're going to stitch up three again. So we'll start right here and we'll go one, and then we'll put one here, two... And then three. And then we'll tie it in really close to the where the last stitch was. And just tie it in. And then we'll switch to black. Switching to black. And then we'll start once again, in like the weird bit that's like technically not a stitch, but we're going to make it a stitch. So just like the horizontal part-ish of one man. Make a stitch in that. 
and then you'll do it across the next two loops. So one, oops, struggling, one, <laughs> two, like that. And then we'll undo this slip knot band. And then we'll just slide the black band onto that band and then re slip knot it. And then we can hide the tail. Oh shoot. Okay, see this is what I mean when things aren't facing the same direction. So you see how these are all both going, like the stitches are going this way? And then this one... It doesn't matter the direction, it just bugs me when they're not all facing the same direction. You, it's not even really noticeable, but it bugs me. When all the stitches aren't like, oh, all the ones flipped over this way are on this side, and then oh, all the ones that look kind of like this are on this side. I'm so picky. But now we're going to do the last one that's like this, right here on the bottom. And we're going to want to go, so this time we're going to start like here and then stitch three to the back. You know, the fins do look better though if you follow what directions I'm going. I don't know why, it just it's just a thing. So we'll start right here. So we'll do one stitch here. We'll do one here, so it'll be two. And then three will be right here. And then once again we'll tie it in really close to where the third stitch was. And we'll tie it tight but not super tight. And then we'll come back to the start here. And you see this weird loop that's like not a loop. It's like kind of like the folded over band. We're going to make a stitch in that. But in black. So we want to get our black bands. Make a stitch in that. And then we'll make a stitch across, across the next two loops. And then we'll undo the slip knot band. Okay. Undo the slip knot band, and then we'll just slide the black on and then re slip knot. And then we'll hide the tail. I don't know if you can hear my family yelling. But it's because my dad's telling my sister to come over, and my sister's like, why? I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, sorry. Okay, so once we have all those fins, we just need to do these two tiny ones on the bottom and then the side fins. So let me double check how I do the bottom ones. Okay, so I double checked how to do these bottom bits. So basically, we're just going to make these two little fins on the bottom, because clownfish have these. And you're going to want to come towards the front. And once again, you're not going to want to go perfectly center. So find where your center is, and you're going to want to go slightly to one side of that, because there's two of them. So you're going to want them to be on like either side of the center. So we're going to come right here and we're going to stitch in two. So we're going to go one and then we'll go into the next one. Uh, we'll go right here. Two. And then we're going to tie in like really close to where the stitch is. We'll tie in. And then we'll get our black. And then we're going to come into the first loop here. We're going to make a stitch in black. And then we're going to undo that slip knot band and we'll just slide the black on and then tie it tight. So we basically just did the same thing we did before, just smaller, I guess. And then we'll just hide the tail in. We pull the tail in. Oh, it's always so hard to hide the tail sometimes. I hate polyfill because it really comes out sometimes when you're pulling things in, which is like why I should have used cotton balls, but I didn't. So like that. So now we have one tiny fin and we're going to want to make another one right here. So we're going to do that exact same thing we just did. So I'm um, deciding where to stitch in. We'll go right here. Stitch in one. Then we'll go back one. So it's two. And then we'll go really close to where we stitched the last stitch in and we'll just slip knot and then we'll get a black band and find the first loop 
make a stitch on it, and then we'll undo the slip knot band. Slide that black band on, and then re slip knot it. If I didn't just lose it, pull tight, and then we'll hide the tail. That. And now he has his two little tiny gills down here. I don't know what these are. Clownfish do have them. Okay, he looks good. I wasn't sure if I did him crooked. It's always so hard to tell when I'm filming when I tie things in crooked. It's just a struggle of filming. But now we're going to do the very last thing, which is just to tie his fins on either side. And then we tie the eyes in and we are done. So, to do the fins... I kind of like putting them, I like where I put them this time, I put them a little bit more forward. So we're going to come forward a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go like right here. You're going to want to go towards the face. And we're going to chain up one, and then we're going to put four stitches in these chain. So one, and then two, three, and then four. And then once you've done four, you're gonna just tie it in to the fish. So we'll just do a slip knot. And you're gonna pull it kind of tight again because you could leave the fins just orange, but I like doing the little black edge. So we're gonna do. You probably already know what we're gonna do because we just did it a bunch of times. So we're going to start, go to the start of the fin. And we're actually going to start in the fish and not in the chain. So we're going to start in the fish. And we're going to just do one stitch black. And then we're going to go all the way across the top in black. Just all these chains in black. Or all these loops, not chains. You know what I mean. You got it. And once you've gone across all the chains doing black stitches, you're going to undo that slip knot band. This is why you don't want to tie it super tight. <laughs> I think I tied it a little too tight. Okay, yeah, so you're going to undo it. And then you'll just slide that black band on, and then re-slip knot it. And this time you'll pull it tight and hide the tail. kind of just adjust it and then we have one fin one fin I don't know if I put too many black bands on top I'm trying to see if it looks okay okay like that and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so we're gonna go on about right here we're going to chain up one. Okay, sorry. We're going to chain up one. And then we're going to put four stitches in this chain again. Once we put the four stitches, we're going to go really close to where we tie, have the chain, and we'll just make a slip knot. And we're going to want to tie it tight, but not super tight. Just so it holds, basically, but not so it's, like, there forever, because you're going to want to come in once again. You can either go in the chain, or you can go in the fish. Um, I'm going in the fish for this guy. It doesn't really matter too much where you start the black. You can go on the fish and then just chain up one and start going, not chain up one, just like do the stitch in the fish and then you'll just start going in the loops that are the fins across all the way in black. And 
And then once you get to the end, you're just gonna undo that band that's slip knotted, slide the back onto it, and then tie it. Like that. And then you can just hide the tail. Like that. And that is pretty much it for this fish. So now I just, I'm just going to tie in the eyes and then he is done. So I'll just get my eye bands. And like I said, if you don't have beads, you can just um, wrap a black band four times around your hook. And then pull a band through and it'll work the same way. But you're just going to pick where you want the eyes. And tie them in. Oop, that's a perfect spot. Yes. We'll go right here. Do the other eye. I'm not really explaining where I tied the eyes because it's pretty obvious where you want to put your eyes. And also, you can put them wherever you like. I feel like it's not too critical for this design. But yeah, there we go. Now we have a clownfish. He looks a little more round, but I think it's just the polyfill, because I've noticed that sometimes things look more rounded with polyfill. It's just a thing that happens. Um, but that is it for this clownfish design, so I hope yours turned out okay. Um, I hope all that black outlining of basically everything didn't wasn't too confusing. Um, so I hope your clownfish came out okay. Um, also, in a couple days, I'll have the tutorial for the bigger clownfish coming out if you want to make a little bit of a bigger one as well. Um, it should be coming out a couple days after this one, hopefully, if I have the time to film it, because <laughs> I've got kind of a busy weekend this weekend. This was, like, my only time to film, but, yeah. So, subscribe if you want to see more tour tour... What? More? What the heck was I... <laughs> Oi. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. Um, I have more stuff coming out. Uh, I'll probably be finishing off my Miraculous Tsum Tsums. I have made all the main characters, pretty much. So, well, I have Carapace and Queen Bee coming out soon. Uh, as well as some other designs that maybe some of you guys have been waiting for. I'm so sorry it took me over a year to do a tutorial for the clownfish. I know some of you have been waiting so long. I'm so sorry. Um, but so, so subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials and things I have coming. Um, and yeah, in the description I'll have my Instagram if you want to see designs before they ever come out on here. Because I just... As you can see with this clownfish, it sometimes takes me a while. But hopefully it won't take me this long anymore. Um, but yeah, so... I think that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. Definitely share your clownfish with me on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys make them. And yeah, so I think that is it. So, bye.